There is value in having a lifestyle that includes proper exercise. It positively affects all aspects of your life, while at the same time benefiting you as an aviator. With a proper physical fitness program, you will find that you have more energy and stamina, whether you're on the ground or airborne. You'll have the ability to withstand fatigue while improving cockpit management and overall situational awareness. From a safety standpoint, you'll be more resistant to the hazards of high altitude flight such as hypoxia and decompression sickness. The purpose of this module is to provide you with the basic guidelines for developing a balanced physical fitness program and customizing a workout to fit your needs. It is recommended that you see a physician before starting any type of physical fitness program. An exercise physiologist or professional trainer can help you personalize a specific fitness program. An effective fitness program consists of the following components. Warm-up, flexibility and stretching, aerobic conditioning, anaerobic conditioning, cool-down, stretching. Let's review each of these components in detail. The warm-up is an essential part of your workout. The warm-up should be adjusted to meet the needs of the type of exercise you plan to perform. Warming up gives the body a chance to deliver plenty of nutrient-rich blood to areas about to be exercised. This will warm the muscles and lubricate the joints. The second step in your workout should include stretching. This is part of the warming up process. Its purpose is to increase and maintain muscle flexibility. This flexibility is accomplished by increasing blood flow to the muscles. Stretching should never overextend the muscle or cause it to burn. With the increase in flexibility and range of movement, another important aspect of stretching is obtained, and that is decreasing the risk of injury. Your workout should then involve an aerobic activity. Aerobic exercise is any activity that uses large muscle groups, an exercise that can be maintained continuously and is rhythmic in nature. The exercise is designed to overload the heart and lungs, causing them to work harder than when at rest. The benefit is, when your body is later at rest, you'll have improved respiratory and circulatory functions that increase and better utilize oxygen consumption. The key is to get moving. There are many different types of activities to choose from. Find one you enjoy and do it so that your heart rate is elevated for a substantial time period. The recommended amount of exercise is three to five days a week, with each of these workout periods having some sort of continuous aerobic activity for 20 to 60 minutes. The intensity of your exercise program should be determined after you see your physician and have talked to an exercise or sports physiologist. Here are some examples of aerobic activities. Aerobic dance, bicycling, inline skating, fitness walking, jumping rope, running, stair climbing, swimming. Anaerobic or muscle-oriented exercise is not only a must for those seeking high-level cardiovascular activity, but is of equal value when producing a reduction in body fat. There are two primary methods for doing an anaerobic activity, using free weights or working out with machines. Both methods require that you have a good understanding of the equipment. Check with a fitness instructor to obtain equipment information before progressing into a specialized program. The following exercises are examples of ways to increase your basic strength. Bench press. Lateral pull down. Overhead press. Bicep curl. Tricep pull down. Squats. Leg extension.
leg curl, abdominal crunch, Here are some preliminary guidelines for completing an aerobic exercise. Do a minimum of 8 to 10 exercises. Involve all major muscle groups. Do an anaerobic exercise at least twice a week. Do a minimum of one set with 8 to 12 repetitions per exercise. Exercise for body resistance that results in near fatigue. With anaerobic exercise, don't forget to stretch before and after each exercise. There are many benefits from having a consistent anaerobic program. Here's a brief list of some of the improvements you can expect from anaerobic exercise. Stretches muscles, tendons and ligaments. Increases mental and physical performance. Decreases the risk of injury. Improves physical appearance increases metabolic efficiency, improves flexibility, reduces body fat, and increases lean muscle mass. Improves strength, balance, and functional ability, especially in older adults. The specific gains you receive from exercising will depend on the muscle group used and your goals of strength and endurance. If you are interested in gaining strength, you'll want to train with more weight closer to your maximum lifting weight. If you are interested in gaining endurance, you should concentrate on less weight and more repetitions. It's best to determine your maximum lifts and repetitions under the instruction and supervision of a fitness professional. Another very important part of a workout is the cool down. The cool down keeps the body active, prevents the blood from pooling in your extremities, and flushes the muscles of lactic acid. The cool down should be performed at a low intensity of effort, starting with major muscle groups. Similar to the start of our workout, the cool down period should also involve stretching. This is very important. Without proper stretching and cooling down, the blood coming from your heart is pumped at a very high rate which can cause the pooling of blood in your muscles and can possibly lead to reduced blood pressure, dizziness, or cardiac complications. A good cool down with stretching also helps in limiting muscle soreness. Proper nutrition, fluid intake, rest, and recuperation are important factors for any healthy lifestyle. As your exercise routine increases, these components become more important. The body needs adequate supplies of these factors to function properly. Eating well-balanced meals helps to replenish the nutritional needs of muscles and aids in recuperation from your workouts. A well-balanced meal involves being aware of your intake, especially proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Most individuals who are involved in a moderate exercise lifestyle benefit from a diet consisting of meals that are 50 to 55 percent complex carbohydrates, 15 to 20 percent protein, and 30 percent fat. However, the carbohydrate and protein intake percentages should change depending on the purpose of your exercise program. Nutrition is very important. Consult with a doctor or dietitian before making alterations to the recommended standard percentages of food. Dehydration is a problem for most people, especially when they begin a fitness program. Exercisers need more water than ever, and if an adjustment is not made, fatigue and cramping can occur. The average sedentary person needs two to four quarts of water every 24 hours to keep the body functioning normally. Depending on the workout, the weather, and your current physical status, your water intake needs will increase. More information on dehydration is included in the module Thermal Stress. It has been proven that physical fitness is a major key to a long and healthy life. It can help you prolong your career in aviation. Your exercise program can be very simple or very complex in nature. Regardless, it should fit your personal needs, lifestyle, and personality. When beginning a fitness program, start slowly. The old sports saying, no pain, no gain, can be very harmful and should not be used. In review, 
it is recommended that you see a doctor before starting any type of physical fitness program. Remember, an effective fitness program consists of the following components. Warm-up, flexibility and stretching, aerobic conditioning, anaerobic conditioning, cool down, stretching. Warming up gives the body a chance to deliver plenty of nutrient-rich blood to areas about to be exercised. Stretching increases and helps maintain muscle flexibility. Aerobic exercise is any activity that uses large muscle groups, can be maintained continuously, and is rhythmic. Aerobic exercise is designed to overload the heart and lungs, working them harder than when at rest. Anaerobic or muscle-oriented exercise is a must for seeking high-level cardiovascular activity and helps you develop and maintain low body fat. Warming up and cooling down, along with stretching, are important parts of your fitness program. Additionally, proper nutrition, fluid intake, rest, and recuperation are key components of a physical fitness program. Physical fitness plays a major role in leading to a long and healthy life.